My name's Charlie Bickers and I'm Douglas Barlow's grandson. We're here creating the first ever disabled big band. One of the key aims of this whole project is to inspire other disabled to take up music as a means of rehabilitation. So I think it can play such a big part, raising confidence, bringing people together, and just generally bringing back a certain spark and life. We're gonna come across the most amazing musicians uh, who might have struggled initially to be able to put their feelings through an instrument, as it were. Really, it's a, an ambitious project, this one. It's sounding an, uh, so much better, you know, already than one could have anticipated. I lost my home when I was nine due to an accident in my father's shop. Kind of became quite ill with post-traumatic stress. I joined the army as a musician, got medically discharged this year, um, so I haven't really played for quite a while. It it's very hard for me because I was on my way to a brass competition when I had my accident. There's a mental association with my accident. The idea from my point of view is to uh, make sure the band is a really going to be a good standard, that people aren't going to be walking away thinking, oh my goodness, you know, but actually they're going to be stopping and coming over and thinking, mate, that's a, that's a good band, that's a good band. I cut the middle finger out of a prosthetic hand to get the stick through, I, I use the elastic bands. I haven't got the same ability as a fully fledged drummer, but I'm good in a band work. The opportunity to do this amongst people that have perhaps a different take on life and, and face different challenges, perhaps that's the kind of environment that might nurture, might be a little bit understanding of some fairly complex needs. I haven't really wanted to play. Um, I think it would have been easy to kind of let it gather dust in the corner, but I also knew I didn't want to let go everything I'd done. It's a really good reason to make music. Throughout my life, music has always been a comfort and a release, so I couldn't stay away from it. You're overcoming whatever you've been through to play music, and music always brings people together. As a disabled person, you do get comments. You just want to crawl under a stone. You don't want to see the world, you don't want the world to see you. So the irony of being a performer is that you have to get out and go look at me. Just to be able to play in a group of people who are like in the same situation as you are and you know, you've all overcome. When I was a kid, with just having lost my hand, I read Reach for the Sky. It inspired me beyond belief. I, I can't tell you how much it did. I was first made aware of Douglas Bader by my father. We met him in the war, that tenacity. You can't help but be inspired by that stuff. Almost sticking a middle finger up at the world and saying, yeah, you've, you've lumbered me with this, but actually I'm, I'm going to kind of get through it and prove that, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be an, an, an inhibitor. If I can show other people that we can, you can still enjoy music, that'd be brilliant. Just to show people that disabled people aren't no good at anything. Say, come on, you can do it if you try. I'd like to raise awareness, and what a great way to do it, you know, through music. It's having that confidence and to just jump in. Like, if you want to do it, try it. It's been humbling, really. Look at what they're doing and look at what they're capable of. I just think it's fabulous. Mm -hmm.